Hey y'all, I just have some time on my hands, so I'm just going to go back and forth with y'all because I'm not going to do it with this little girl <laughs> on this post. So I posted a picture of, of Officer Dorner on Veterans Day, rest in peace, Officer Dorner. And so we got, there There were comments, you know, somebody says, I remember, was like, I'm tired, y'all, you know, got, you know, somebody said they've been thinking about him lately. Somebody said they didn't know anything about this until Dave Chappelle mentioned him in his Netflix. Somebody said they're afraid to comment and give this great soldier his honor for his service to his country and his people. All right, let me go, let me do this, okay. So anyway, there was this little girl that showed up. And she said, wow, Wikipedia is calling him a domestic ter terrorist. You know, not surprising, right? And I said, yep, they have to. It's part of the Orange Regime's process to proactively rewrite history's narratives for generations to come. Eventually, everyone will believe that version of the story as the true story is gradually altogether suffocated. Then she came back and said, the Orange Regime, you giving him way too much credit. but I chilled. I chilled because I knew I was dealing with a pro uh, a colonized little girl. So in chilling, I said, I can see how you think I'm giving him way too much if you believe that I'm giving ownership of an entire regime to one solitary, unintelligent, uneducated, unstable person. So I was hoping that that comment would make her understand that I'm calling it an orange regime. A regime is a collection of an entire organized system of control. So hoping this response, I thought it through, you know, I'm dealing with an adult aged, procreated person, colonized person. Let me just put in front of her that a regime is not made up of one individual, certainly not one solitary, unintelligent, unintelligent, uneducated, unstable person. So that's how I responded. She came back and said, yes, ma'am, especially seeing when this happened to this man when Obama was in office. It's all of them, not just one. People giving him way too much credit when he's just continuing an old age tradition. That's my whole fucking point when I call the whole fucking thing when I refer to supremacy as the orange regime. Then she came back and said, I get, cause I decided not to respond to that, right? So I was like, you know, chill. She doesn't know any better. Her procreators did the best they could chill. So I chilled, but she came back. And doubled down and said, and you literally did call it his re regime, so yeah, LOL. Not once have I mentioned anyone's name or even referenced the current president. Not once. She, so you literally did, so according to her, I called it his regime because I said orange regime. So I'm putting it all on him when I've clarified that he's not even intelligent enough to be able to be to control something like that. But okay. So she said, you, you literally did call it his regime. So yeah, LOL. I'm not trying to cape for him at all. I'm just saying, let's be accurate. She's saying, let's be accurate. It's his supporters that be inaccurate and we are better than them. She's saying, let's be accurate. What did I say that was inaccurate? And how did I call it one person's regime? At what point? Where? What name did I call? What individual did I reference? So she's saying, I'm just saying, let's be accurate. The child that, the girl that went to Wikipedia to learn about the man that I posted wants me to be accurate. I want to be accurate. So... I responded to that double down response. I said, again, if you think I'm giving credit to one, capitalize one person, then I can easily see how you think I'm giving him too much credit. And then I hashtag lost in translation. And in keeping with remaining accurate, I'm okay with that being your understanding rather than what I actually said.
So then she comes back. And now I'm sweetheart. I could have literally pushed this bitch from my, my womb. I take that back. Nobody I give birth to would end up like this. I mean, you never know. But I'm saying <laughs> my daughter would never. So she calls me sweetheart. Young girls, never call, never call a grown woman you don't know, sweetheart. Just don't do that. She can do it because she's not, she's embraced her will for ignorance. Don't you do it. Don't you do that shit. Don't call no grown, don't call no grown woman you don't know, sweetheart. Don't call her hun. Don't call her sweetie. Depending on your tone, you might could call her some other cutesy names, but. Don't do that. Unless you're mature. You know, mature, mature young ladies can do that, can get away with that. They know how that they know how it's done. I can't even explain it, but they know how it's done. But don't do that, little girl. Okay, so sweetheart, first of all, we're on the same team. A real friend makes you sure you are on point. You said the orange regime, did you not? Yes, bitch, I said the orange regime. A real friend makes sure you are on point. So she making sure I'm on point by how. Let's see. Okay, let me just read through this. Sweetheart, first of all, we're on the same team. A real friend makes sure you are on point. That's generally true, but I don't know you, little girl. You said the orange regime, did you not? So yes, I was going off of what you said. There is no need for a prolonged argument because we are literally saying the same thing. We are not saying the same thing, bitch. Please relax, love. Now I'm, now I'm love. I get it. It's a lot of energy right now, but we on the same team. Oh, she really thinks she, she really thinks she grown. So she calls me sweetheart. First of all, we're on the same team. A real friend makes sure you're on point. I never seen or heard of this little girl before in my life uh, in terms of friendship. You said the orange regime, did you not? Yes, I did. I, I did say the orange regime. So I was going off of what you said. Yeah, you were going off of what, what I said. You were going way off. There's no need for prolonged argument because we're literally saying the same thing. We are not literally saying the same thing. But yes, I agree there's no need for prolonged argument. What? Who's arguing? With what? About what? What argument is there? I said what I said. And you believe what you believe about what I said. And I'm okay with that. I ain't. I didn't post none of this to change your little mind. Very little mind. So anyway, there's no need for prolonged argument because we're literally saying the same thing. No, we're not, little girl. Please relax, love. <coughs> she seems to think I'm not relaxed and that we're arguing. And then she comes back and she has a double down after that and say, I'm I'm born and raised American, so nothing was lost in translation. Laugh my ass off. She came back and doubled down and added that. From when I when I hashtag lost in translation, she is now assuming she's really doing whatever the fuck she wants to with my words. <laughs> she's doing whatever the fuck she wants to with my words. She done said I done gave the concept of an entire regime to one person. She believes I'm giving one person credit for an entire regime. So, and because I said orange regime, she has assessed that I'm telling you that one person has put this shit into play. One person who I have acknowledged is unqualified to to really tie his own shoes but okay and now and then she reminded me that he's continuing an age-old tradition because again she has assumed that i'm giving uh, all the credit to one person <laughs> how old is this girl and you literally did call it his regime so yeah i called it his regime i don't remember saying the trump regime at all i'm just saying let's be accurate 
I almost wanted to reply. Thank you so much. I don't know what would I what I would do without you telling me what I mean by what I said. I'm re I'm really pissed off at my peers right now. Um let me go to her page cuz I'm mad at her mom. I'm mad at her mom and dad if both both were a part of raising her. I'm mad at both of her procreators. This is horrible. She is in for such a ride. Oh, she cute though. She's not that ugly. She is the worst kind. She thinks she is so grown. <laughs> Where are her procreators? Do you, are your procreators? Do you have pictures with your procreators? Oh, I don't want no parts of your energy, girl. She come back and check me when she grow up. Grow all the way up, though. She's so wrong about so much. Oh my god, she called herself reading cards and she's supposed to be like a tarot card reader or some shit. This bitch is so lost. It trips me out when I see somebody. See, I would have never known. She could have just kept her mouth shut. I mean, she could have left her comment. Well, I guess she was responding to my response to her comment. She, co she made a comment. I replied. But that's where she fucked up. When her response was, you giving him too much credit. No, bitch, you giving them too much credit because you the only person here that automatically assumed that by Orange Regime, I meant one person's army. Ain't nobody else over here assumed that about what I said. They looked at the words I said and took them to mean what they mean how they was written. I shouldn't have took that extra tug to prove that I was so relaxed though, because I'm so super high right now. And I don't have I don't have any idea what I want for um dinner. She's been following me for a while, I think. I just didn't care to look that something must have just distracted me from being interested in looking deeper into her page. I can see how that might have happened. You know, no, no shade. Well, not for any, you know, negative anything. But there's life is too short right now. There's no room for for fuck people in it. Not that she's a cop. Co she's cognizant of her bullshit. Cause I can't say that she is. Her intentions are good. I believe. I would believe. I would believe that her intentions are indeed good. But man, <laughs> you need to sit her, her juvenile ass down and grow all the way up. I see why people tell used to tell us to stay out of grown folks' business. They didn't tell me that a lot because my mind was grown long before I, my chronology was. <laughs> so, and they understood that I was I was capable of sitting ha and having adult conversation and without being childish and without a loss of any innocence of my childness. But anyway, dealing with y'all kids off and on over the social media makes me understand what adults used to really, why I understood anyway, believe me, because people my age were childish to me, but so I understood. But I am even more compassionate about, more empathetic to um, grown folks of all ages that have to encounter a bunch of adult age people that just ain't even trying to be ready for real life, you know. I think in this era, I want someone defending our household who is... more likely to be compassionate there are no guarantees but i wouldn't be necessarily sure about 
who we work who we're working with now. I would want to be sure that someone we use in that capacity is really, really in our corner. You know, for all that is good and right. How much time have I given this little girl? This child? Gave her too much time. Nah, I had it to burn. I wanted to burn it on that. Just playing with a little something petty just to pass the time. But let it be known, I'm really mad at you, sisters. I'm mad at you, sisters. Because I see your children. I see your children out here. And they are, they are, they are. They make a lot of disappointing choices. I'll just say that. Because I don't want to talk about your kids right in front of your face like that. Can't expect somebody to agree with that bullshit. But your, your kids are making challenges, just questionable challengingly questionable choices and and we periodically have to cross paths with them interact with them in public on the internet and let me tell you you dropped the ball i'm waiting on that day i'm waiting on that day that there are more parents than there are procreators i aspire to see that day But if the only way I'm going to see that day is if I die and there and there is such a heaven where everybody's good and everybody's true and everybody's not, everybody good, right? Then that's not to say that I'm in a hurry to die, okay? <laughs> that just means that I would like to see the day here and in good health and happiness on earth, that that could be a thing in the society that I'm a part of. We need us, y'all. We all we got. We can't fuck. We can't fuck each other up. We can't fuck with each other. We can't fuck each other over. Because there's nothing in place for us to defend ourselves. No, there's nothing in place rooting for us. So we have to do this, or we die. And the story gets re again rewritten in the history books. Well, now the little bitch is right. Now I'm not relaxed. Now I'm stressed. <laughs> Having nothing to do with her but the fact that there are so many hers out there. Hims and hers. Just like her. And they're taking the reins. There's no more time to play around, y'all. We have to take the reins on exercising our ancestral blessings. Our magnificence is warranted. I just want to leave you with that. Our magnificence is warranted. And I know what you're saying. You're saying, then why wouldn't you be more patient with the little girl? Well, I think I did. I think I was. I think I was very patient. I told you the whole, my whole initial response to her <clears throat> snapping off was to sit in front of her a scenario so maybe she could understand that a regime is not one person. But she, instead of her listening to that presentation so that she'd think for herself, Rather than actively think for herself and, and figure that out, oh, she said orange regime. It, it could be a blanketed term for the entirety of supremacy. I could see how <clears throat> that would be an effective nickname for something, for some shit like that. Oh, that's kind of clever. The orange regime. But no, that's not what she did. She doubled down and said, you did say it was Trump's. You sat there and said it was Trump's regime. 
Did you or did you not say it was the orange regime? Yes, I did say it was the orange regime. I didn't say nothing about Trump. Don't be a dumb hoe. Okay, not that last part. That's not, that's, see, that's why <clears throat> somebody is out here for her to grow because she's still young, you know? She might grow up one day, you know what I mean? But it's just, I'm not the mother, I'm not the person who is sent to do that job with people like her. I'm not, I'm not, goddess didn't, of all of my tasks and duties of service here on earth while I'm here, tolerance of such individuals was not in my program. It's, uh, it's not my capacity. I don't have it in me. And I don't want it in me and I'm not looking for it. But I do root for her to find it in, in uh, whatever or whoever it is she needs to encounter for her to grow the fuck up. Because life can be wonderful for her eventually at some point once she has done that. And so I root for her to find that. In the meantime, <clears throat> you need to fuck out of here with all that bullshit. <sighs> Actually, as a grown woman, you don't have to leave. Hang out. Keep exposing yourself, you know? Because all the people in my squad, we just got, they just going to look at you and uh, they going to be like, hey, she keep going. Really making herself look stupid right now. Just keep going. Is this, is this what it like to do a whole video dedicated to your haters? Cause I used to always, I used to always talk shit. Like y'all talk about y'all haters so much. Y'all be dedicating whole ass videos to them. <laughs> and then some of y'all go on and tell the truth. Your sociopath ass be like, oh, I love all my haters. Cause they give me more, they give, give me more views. That's all your thirsty ass values. <laughs> and views and likes. You go ahead and let them know. Let them know. Shit. These are winning time for sociopaths. Get down. Get your hustle on. They gonna go for it. Sheep are gonna go for it. Get your money, boo boo. It's a pandemic going on. Get your money. Get your money. Oh shit. I felt like that before, long before you, before uh, the orange regime. <laughs> I never been. Y'all know I got, I got Grinch videos that go back a decade. Over a decade. My lips are chapped like a mug. What is a mug? Why was everything like a mug? Sometimes you get the answer of in different innuendos and, and whatnot, but I never got the answer to that one. I was just sitting here, I was like, oh, I shouldn't have hit that indica, indica, but... I was like, I didn't, right? And then I remembered which, then I saw which one I did, and I did, I did it to myself.